Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. I'm Urania and this is the channel for femininity and for self-improvement. In today's video, we're going to look at ways that you can become more feminine by tapping into your feminine energy. I am actually starting a new femininity series on my channel and this is the very first video, so I'm very excited about it. Let's get started with today's video so you can learn how to be more feminine. I believe that femininity is an energy and that it starts from within. With these videos, we're going to look at the different feminine energies, traits and qualities. And I'll be using these three terms depending on the sentence, but know that I mean the same. The reason why this new series is only focused on the internal part of becoming more feminine and not so much the outer part, which is our appearance, and I will make videos about that as well. But the reason we focus on the inner part is that by only looking feminine does not make you a feminine woman. A woman can have a beautiful dress on, beautiful heels, hair done, makeup beautiful, but still not be feminine, still not exude femininity. Because in her actions, she might be very masculine. And that is the reason why the outside, so your appearance, needs to match the inside, how you behave, in order for you to be a true feminine woman. So before we start, there are a couple of things that I need you to know. The first thing that I want you to know, because there are so many feminine traits, in every video I am explaining three to four different traits, so that I can take my time explaining it, and I'm not overloading you with information. The second thing that I want you to know is that every person, both men and women, have feminine and masculine energies within them. We need both energies in order to survive. So I am by no means saying that one is better than the other, because we need both. But here is the issue. In today's society, we as women have become really good at using our masculine qualities. And these masculine qualities are action, achieving, leading, competing, and making decisions, just to name a few. But by using our masculine energies more than we're using our feminine energy, we are feeling exhausted, depleted, burned out, and unhappy. And that is exactly the reason why so many women feel the need and feel the urge to connect with their feminine energy again. The feminine is our natural state, not the masculine. Our femininity is our superpower. And ladies, it is time for us that we take our power back and we learn how to use it. So what are the things that you can do to connect with your feminine energy? Number one, connect with your body. One of the most powerful ways for you to become more feminine and to feel more feminine is for you to connect with your body. The masculine energy is about doing. The feminine energy is about being. The masculine energy is about thinking and about the mind. The feminine energy is about feeling and about the body. It is about feeling our bodies, understanding it, listening to it, appreciating it, and truly loving it. Our bodies are amazing. They are beautiful, they are strong, and they are unique. Our bodies can create life. And to me, that makes them even more magical. Our bodies are our permanent address and they will be with us our entire life. So it's time for us to get comfortable with our body, to take care of it and to reconnect with it. Now let's look at some different ways that you can connect with your body. One of the ways is to breathe. Start with the habit of taking more deep and meaningful breaths. When you type in breathing exercises on YouTube, you will get a whole list of different videos that can help you with that. And you can do these exercises when you're on your way to work or to school, at the beginning of your day or at the end of your day, when you're feeling a little bit anxious 
or when you're feeling disconnected with your body. One of the breathing exercises that I like to do when I'm feeling disconnected from my body is to breathe in and out three times. And on the third inhale, I am holding my breath for 10 seconds. After that, I continue to breathe normal and it feels that I can feel my body more intensely. It feels that I'm waking up my body. So perhaps it is something that you can try too. Another thing that you can do is looking after your body. So body care, making sure that you feel clean and fresh, put on a mask, take a bubble bath, or go for a massage. Another way is to move your body. So exercise, dance, and have fun with your body. And a very important one is to listen to your body. Your body cannot talk to you in words, but it talks to you in feelings. So when you feel tired, that is your body telling you that you need more rest. When you feel hungry, that is your body telling you you need food. And when you feel thirsty, that is your body telling you it's dehydrated. So listen to what your body is telling you. These were a couple of ways for you to connect with your body. The second thing you can do to be more feminine and connect with your feminine energy is to have more fun. As women, we have a very big impact on the lives of people around us. Let's take mothers as an example. When you see a smile on your mother's face and you see that she's happy, it will instantly make you happy too. As a feminine woman, you want to be that sunshine in the life of other people. But you can only be that sunshine in the life of other people if you start making yourself happy first. When you are doing more things that make you happy, you can get to a place where you can also bring happiness into other people's life. So how do you do it? How do you have more fun in your everyday life? And the answer is by doing something fun that is not attached to any results. Examples are by watching a funny movie or a comedy show, by playing with your children, by playing with your pets, by calling a good friend or a family member, or by listening to a fun podcast. So start looking at the little everyday things that can bring more joy into your heart and put a smile on your face. For me, it is making and drinking my first cup of coffee in the morning. It is buying fresh flowers and looking at my flowers. And it's calling my mother and hearing her voice. Those are the little everyday things that bring me joy and make me happy. So figure out what those things are for you. Joy is a feminine energy. So by you having more joy and more fun in your life, you are tapping into your feminine energy. Ladies, it is time for a quote. Feminine power is silent, dark, mysterious, healing, nurturing. A woman can walk into a room and control it. She doesn't even have to open her mouth if she knows where her power is. The third thing that you can do to become more feminine and to tap into your feminine energy is to be more passive. Active is the opposite of passive. The masculine energy is active and the feminine energy is passive. I think many of us are familiar with the masculine qualities of being active, getting things done, going after things and making things happen. As women, we are not used to waiting for things anymore. We actively approach and pursue things that we want. And going out there and making things happen for ourselves is a good thing. However, constantly being in the action and decision-making state, unfortunately, is not good for feminine women. Because we need balance. We cannot only be in the active state, so the masculine, and not in the passive state, the feminine. We need to balance it out. The passive is not the state where we as women are being nourished. It is not our natural state. By staying there too long, we will start feeling depleted, exhausted, and burned out. I feel that being passive has this negative connotation. 
And I don't think that's fair because we all know how to be active. But in order for us to have balance, we also need to know how to be passive. I am not saying be lazy and don't do your best, but I am saying to surrender more and to trust more. And that requires strength. For that reason, I think it's more difficult to be passive than to be active in today's society. The passive energy is about letting things happen and not going after things constantly. The passive energy is about trust and knowing that what is meant to be will be. The affirmation that I love to use is I don't chase, I attract. You don't go out there and chase things, but you let things come to you. And that is such a beautiful example of being passive and resting in your feminine energy. So how can you become more passive? Passive activities involve watching, looking at, or listening to things rather than doing things. Being more passive is also about having more patience. However, patience is a trait that we're going to look at in another video. And ladies, those were the ways that you can become more feminine and tap into your feminine energy. We first looked at why you need to connect with your body and I gave you some examples. After that, we looked at why you need to have more fun in your everyday life and how you can do that. And we also looked at why you need to be more passive in how you can be more passive. This was the very first video of the new femininity series. I hope that you liked it. If you did, let me know in the comment section below and also give me your feedback. Then I know if I should continue making these videos. I am going to end this video by thanking you for watching and saying that you and me will meet each other again in next week's video. Ladies, have a lovely week. Bye.